Who can tell me what happened last week? We, we played AoE. We lift and we killed him. <laughs> That's yeah, we, good. Really we did play AoE. What about the week before that? Dan, keep going, please. We went down in the lift. So we managed to get in there. We into the... Um, there was one particular barn that we'd got into. Um, it was a uh, windmill. Yep. Windmill. Sorry. Yep. You're right. My bad. Um, mm -hmm. And we found a lift in there. And we started going down the lift and got attacked by a fuckload of snakes. Mm -hmm. And some extra wizardy snaky boys um which we you also did, killed. yeah mm -hmm. um, and we, we accidentally we psychologically tortured our new found friend yes by and accidentally killed secretly his murdering his friend yes by accidentally it killing her. yes excellent he did really didn't, didn't, really didn't notice locket. me stamping on him oh yeah mm -hmm. i got a locket i couldn't open They're like or i had like a ruby in it that i couldn't open that i couldn't uh i couldn't identify yep which, Ooh, uh, I'm just as as uh well before we leave the elevator dom um mm -hmm. would it be fair to say that um gene from uh delivering first aid uh might have a bit of blood on him from her oh i'd say he's probably got a lot of uh blood from yes delivering first aid yes um, <laughs> okay sweet um mm -hmm. as as we're walking off i just want to like smear it on my um, oh shopping yes, list. your shopping list. Just a moment, then. Not, um, I, don't, I don't. I don't have time to look at it. I just want to like smear it on there, and I'll come back to that later. No, that's fine. I've just got to make a note for my own did, record here. Did the I shopping list say blood of innocence it. on it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. So it said right, blood. Milk. <laughs> milk eggs. Okay, well, that's milk fine. Eggs, Excellent. Bread, so yeah, you rub. Innocence. You rub some blood on the note and stuff it back in your pocket. Yeah. All right. So the elevator has uh, has now come to the base, and you found yourself in in sort of a it, it's a cavern that seems to kind of stretch out before you. It looks like it's a natural cavern um, that they've just rudimentarily connected this elevator to. Uh, now I'm going to move you into the area. Um, there's a bunch of dynamic lighting and stuff like that going on. Um, so, fair warning in advance. Um, I've made it so all of your tokens are emitting light because it's not intended to be dark in here. It's quite well lit. It's you can see around the place. The I've given you all like bright light just so it's really clear where your sight lines are. There is a so daylight you know setting. Advance. There is a daylight setting, but I disagree with it. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Carry on. Yeah. yeah we are. I don't know. Kind of. Indeed. Whatever. Indeed. So, uh, as you kind of uh, get to the uh, get to the base, uh, Sir Leopold uh, steps off, holding the uh, holding the body of uh, Elizabeth, and uh, and kind of places her gently down, and appears to be delivering some kind of last rites or or something over the body, and no. promises briefly to return. He then kind of mm -hmm. uh, was it a can? Oh, you can if you want. I mean, there's certainly a lot of a lot of loose rocks around here, but uh, Sir Leopold does tell you he intends to uh, he intends to bring her home for a proper burial. Hey, I'm just gonna do it anyway. So, who's got the spell that can possess the dead? Uh, uh, Based upon general tone, it's probably Ed. Yeah. Uh, I haven't got one to possess them right we, now. We we we. No, I was thinking about that. We need to somehow possess the body and, and, and get him to chop off her head. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, all right, as you kind of uh, as you're standing in the uh, the cabin, um, Sir Leopold stands up and kind of glances around and says, "It's some kind of natural cavern down here. I don't, I don't, I didn't know this was here." This must be where the where those snakes and and strange women have been coming from. But why would why would they be down here? Uh, gentlemen, I I I need to trust in you to to help me out here. I, I'm I'm clearly not at my best right now. I uh, I need your help. We must find whatever the cause of the corruption is down here, or we must stamp it out. Only then will my people be safe. We hope. Yes, for everyone's safety. 
for everyone's safety indeed so yes you can Great, feel free to uh to move around a bit uh so leopold will follow i'll shout if i want people to kind of stop moving too much cool can i sneak around uh yeah if you roll me a stealth check please Sorry about that, by the way. I don't know what went wrong. What oh, did you do? Uh, oh, I disconnected mm -hmm. and reconnected. Okay. Do you, get, All right. do you get a short rest at all? Uh, you guys can take a short rest if you want. I, I, can, I would rather have a long one, but I appreciate that's unlikely, so... Uh, I mean, yeah, if you guys want to if you guys want to take half an hour or so to kind of rest up, give him yeah. time to grieve and, and you know... Oh, sure, yeah, we can take a little yeah. breather. Okay, I'm all right. I'm not complaining about that. That's fine. Um, so if is you're resting for about hit 30 dice? minutes, uh, yeah, it is up to what half of them or something, isn't it? Yeah, I can't remember how many you can use. Yeah, up to half of them. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Well, I took no damage, so I don't mind keeping a lookout whilst we're resting. Okay, oh. that's great. If you want to roll me a perception check, please. Can I assist? As I am, I'm gonna, I also took no damage. So... Oh. <laughs> maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just do it myself. As it turns out, you were standing in his way. <laughs> oh, no, I'll, I'll I can see you. fine. <laughs> yeah, you can see fine. Uh, cool. I'm I'm lovely view of the back there's, of a, your uh, there's a couple of large rocks that were in my way, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had accidentally yes, deleted both my tokens. <laughs> I tried what? to delete Steven, but... Um, Are you should, can you not just drag before. him back in? Or uh, hang on. Uh, no, I just need Gene back. So I can see. Is that what? Oh, yeah, okay, good, good. Oh, right, yeah, of course, because you lost vision. Yeah, because he only lasts for an hour. <laughs> I didn't really take much damage, though. But okay. So, no, I didn't take any damage, Stephen. Why are we having a rest? Um, we... I believe oh. Tom took quite a bit of damage, didn't he? Oh, I no. took four That's damage. Lot. Who yeah. took lots of damage? No, I'm happy because my spells are set. Mm. Yeah, uh, I don't get spell okay. slots. Yeah, all right, all right. <clears throat> well, fair enough. A couple of you rest up, mostly to recover warlock spell slots, apparently. Um, oh, there's a button. And based on the uh, perception rolls, uh, I'm going to say, call you. Uh, you can hear scratching and movement deeper within the cavern. You can also hear what sounds like like water and something moving through the water. Mm. Make so mm. scratch. Indeed. Uh, All right. So nothing anybody else wants to do before the rest? Hold up. Okay. Um, do I want to... No, I'll hold while I stick at it. I'm tempted by a spell slot, but I've only got two spell slots left, and they're both second level, so I'm not going to waste it on. Okay. Oh, does yeah. anyone need spell slots? Because I have spell. this bolster magic thing. Yes, I have. Ooh. no I have. I can do with any spell slot you can give me. Uh, <laughs> just need to remind myself what it is. How does that work then? As an action, you can touch a creature for ten minutes. They can roll and add it. Roll a d three. Okay, so you can take this action up to your proficiency modifier. You can give somebody a spell slot based on a d three roll. Yeah, and so only just, once per their long rest. Just call that needs one? Or does anyone else need some more spell slots? Because I've got, I can do it three times. I, f I get my spell me. slots back with a short rest. I think I'm the only person who gets spell slots on a long rest. So. Uh, I'll some just single three into you then. Well, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be. So <laughs> level, uh, I, know you, I thought you could only do it to me once, can't you? Uh, oh, can I do it once per creature? Once a creature. Uh, it's once that creature, per can't creature, receive it again yeah. until long rest. Uh, okay. Well, can I get? Anyone can fight amongst yourselves for these spell slots. <laughs> can I? Can I donate my spell slots? Because <laughs> I don't have any. I was gonna say you have spell slots. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Ed, Ed, do you have spell slots? Yeah, I have some spell slots. I can. I could get back. Uh, I thought you were getting them back. Though. Don't you get all of your spell slots when you? Take a short rest. I get my warlock. Uh, warlock. Oh no, Ed! You can't. Um, you can only get one spell slot from this per long rest as a receiver. So you, I can only get one back. You can get one back as well. Oh sweet! Yeah, yeah. Please. Uh, what level? Uh, he rolled a three, so you can have a level three or two or one. If you don't have any level three spell slots, you can't. Yeah, have I got my uh, three levels <laughs> back. Uh, but that is very appreciated. Thank you. Cool. 
I'll just knock two off my bolsters and save one okay. in case. Okay. All right then. All all good. All sorted. That's such Excellent. a weird barbarian thing to be able to do. You are a weird barbarian, though. That's, kind, barbarian. Of the, that's really kind of the thing. Cool. That does remind me I still haven't fixed your wild magic. Remind me to do it after this session. Okay. Yeah. We'll be back next week. With it we will be, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> if you leave it long enough, it'll level up enough that it won't matter. <laughs> all right. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I think we're all good. You can continue moving your way deeper into the cavern if you want. Um... Dan, you did roll stealth, but then you had a short rest and you were on watch. Do you want to roll stealth again? There it is. Yeah, okay. I didn't think it was going to be a bad roll, I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. So Game plus 11 is uh, always good. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Not as good as my sleight of hand, which is now up to a plus 16. Jesus. Oh, All right, fair enough. How much you get up there? Uh, that is, uh, that's a bit down. It's a wall. Down. It oh, is. Yeah, see, yeah. You You're on an upper water. shelf. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. I've... I've spent ages doing one-sided walls and stuff oh, like that. Oh, wow, that's fucking cool. I have piss on this skull. Uh, okay, can you roll me for piss? Mm-hmm. Great, thanks. Uh, right, so... I would be really impressed right can now. I, I see, see anything in the water? An attack or piss. Any signs of anything in that water at all? Uh, can you roll me perception or nature, I think? Uh, I'm trying to think of any other relevant stats. I moved you, Tom, because I thought you were lagging behind. There's going to be dinosaurs here, aren't there? <laughs> I hope so. Perception of 15. <laughs> okay, it. so looking around, you can see kind of... This this water is reasonably shallow, but there are definitely some spots where it's deeper. Mm. Um, and you can also see what look to be kind of drag marks okay. right about Ooh. here. This map oh, yeah. looks like we're uh, going to stumble across Nigel Thornbury in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I, I obviously relay that information to the group. I'll do it with my yeah. hands. <laughs> yep. Oh, what's this, Dom? I can see what's here. what? Smash. Uh, that you can see what appears to be a circle of torches. Mm. Or as Sam cool. thinks, a circle of spears. Or a circle yep. of spears, yes, I suppose. <laughs> circle of, a circle <laughs> of armies. <laughs> and he didn't understand the reference. All right. As you. Uh, well, he, no, as you get the closer to the, the circle, um, you can see that quite clearly this is uh, this is where some kind of ritual has taken place. Um, if anybody here can roll me Arcana or Nature, yes. So that's a fourteen from no. Court. Uh, that's a no from Sam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God. So, so. <laughs> oh fuck it! Why not? Oh damn! Those of you, no, those of you rolling Arcana, none of you figure it out. Uh, Nugget trying to figure out with his nature can't figure it out. Ragnar takes one look at it and goes, "Oh, it's a druid circle." This is a circle where druidic magic has been performed. Won't it be? Won't it be? It Indeed. Is. May there be peace in the east. May, May there be peace, peace in the peace east. Yes. In the east. Um, so one one thing to be aware of, by the way, as a consequence of how I've done the like lighting and stuff like that, you currently can't see what's on the other side of this ravine. No, I can't. You're Wait, supposed no. to be, but I'm going to go with it's foreboding. Ooh. <laughs> Indeed. Um, okay, so I'm just I'm going to do this publicly. I can't actually put my token on any on any of these squares <laughs> on the bridge. No, you probably can't, yeah. Oh. Boop. <laughs> I can forcibly move you onto it and move oh. you. No, I can't move off it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't come up with a better way to do Ooh. the bridges, I'll be honest. Can I, can I, I can start eggs. taking the torches out of this circle? Okay, right, let's go in order. Dan, you can start plucking oh, torches wait, out wait, if you want. Wait, wait, wait. I think I know what this... I think I might know what this is. That's a shame. I'm putting the torches regardless. No, 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 no. I mean, the, I, that, I mean, the, I mean, what reference to WoW this is. You might oh. know exactly what reference to WoW this is. Oh, God. <laughs> They're dinosaurs. <laughs> no comment. Hold on. There's dinosaurs. Hold on. Can, I, can I check if I'm right? Do you want to, yeah, do you want to ping me a message? Oh, oh. fucking. All There's this... no need to do this, Samuel. <laughs> there, is, there is literally no need. He just needs to know if he's right. 
I might actually, when they come back in, I might say to Dom, can we stop, like, spending time calling out fucking WoW references because it just means nothing to the rest of us. I don't mind the WoW references. <laughs> no, it's just when they get fucking discussed, like, mid-session. There's no need. He was wrong. <laughs> Good. Uh... <laughs> no need to move out there, Samuel. Indeed. <clears throat> All right, right. so, uh, Court, you start pulling torches out of the ground. Now, what is your intention? Are you pulling them out and just, like, throwing them down on the ground? Or uh, I'm going to put them out, like, douse them, and then add them to the other torches that I happen to have with me. Okay, so you start pulling out the torches and extinguishing the light and, and all that yeah, sort of thing. Um, and nothing really seems to be happening for the first few. Yeah. And then, finally, when you're reaching the last one, the moment that you douse the last torch, you hear what sounds like a tremendous screaming sound. Ooh. Like some kind of furious, angry lizard as a horrible screaming Dinosaur. sound comes from the opposite side of the ravine. Ah. Over, can you see where I'm pinging? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, over that way, this horrible sound has just come from there, and you see a brief torrent of green energy pull from the center of the circle and fly over in that direction. I can see eggs. Is it oh, dinosaurs? So I, I, I think I have to move people onto the other side of the bridge. Didn't realize that would ha have to be how it's done, but I can move people across if people want to go across. So yeah, I'm the taxi oh. service, apparently. So why yeah. is that? I don't understand. What have you done to the... Why can't we get on the squares of the bridge? Is it because there's walls, walls on both sides of it? Yeah, it's because there are walls on both sides. What I really should have done is put the walls kind of on these sides of the bridge. Instead, I went on the land side of the bridge, but whatever. It'll probably make sense later. Mm. Cool. Oh, well. so, um, I would like over. to cross the bridge. If I'm it's gonna, I would I'm like gonna to just, cross the bridge. I'm going to just move everybody over, apart from apparently Richard, who could move himself back. Ugh. So, who's going to eat an egg? Yeah, okay. oh, right, so hang on, Nugget, you uh, you come over here, and there's a there's a clutch, there's a significant clutch of eggs, all kind of clustered together. These are much larger than bird eggs. Can I throw one? Like bird eggs. Can I throw one over to the water, please. Uh, okay, can you give me an athletics roll for? Let's see how good your throw is. It's very good. It's a solid arc. If it was the shot put, you'd be at least in for a bronze medal. Have a bite. Uh, Have a hmm. bite. Have a bite. It goes arcing into the water. Uh, instead of a splashing sound, you just hear a gentle plop as it just vanishes beneath the water. Hmm. There's eat barely one. even a ripple. I'm not eating one. You eat one. Eat one. You eat one. Get one of do the cats to eat one. Fucking fuzz uh, Aldrin. Do it. Do it, you wuss. Richard's got a high constitution. He can eat it. Yeah, I'll eat egg. <laughs> yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> Come on, Baron Two. Come on, Baron. Come on, eat a fucking egg. Cool, cool's gonna, cool's gonna crack one out, crack one, like just crack the top of it off, like it's a cup. Like, <laughs> eggs are good for your health, and just hand him a cup, like hand him like it's a pint. <laughs> like, like a pint well, glass full of egg. <laughs> <laughs> All right, these are, yeah, these are big sized eggs. It's a good one. So, uh, with, uh, with Cool's assistance to hack the top of your hands, Ragnar, a, uh, an egg. Are I'm, you drinking it then? Pint of oh, egg, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Roll me a Constitution save, please. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Um, is that you, okay? you, yeah, uh, you know what? Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, so you, uh, bottoms up, you drink the entire egg. Uh, it kind of feels a little bit weird. Feels, <laughs> ooh, ooh, mm, ooh, 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 that, that had a bit of a, bit of a kick to it. That didn't taste like a normal egg that you've clearly drunk like this way before. So but you know what? Strong. It's not bad. Yeah, Where's... actually, feels pretty good. Can we get a wear saber tooth tiger? <laughs> Do you think saber tooth tigers come out of uh, eggs? I oh. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Um, so, yeah, as you kind of move about more, you can hear kind of some strange noises coming from over here after the scream. <laughs> the strange noises are coming from Ragnar's stomach. Uh, there's also some strange <laughs> noises coming from Ragnar's stomach, but that's not anything new. Uh... Can I see if mm -hmm. it's a magical source of? Because obviously there was the green light, and even oh right, yeah, okay, Let's have a look. So that might be magic. What are you looking for a magical <laughs> source on? Sorry. Um, the noises, I think. Oh, the noises. Okay, yeah, certainly. 
Um, so how does this work then? You know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. When you sense a spell, you learn what school of magic it belongs to. Okay, that's fine. I have to quickly pull up the uh, <laughs> list of magic schools in D&D. &D. There, there are a lot. There are a lot, so I always got to make sure I uh, fucking get it right, you know? Um, so you can you can sense very, very strongly coming from over here there is a source of magic, um, and you would detect it as the school of... Oh Christ, which one is it now? Rock? Rock, yes. You would detect it as a magical rock is over there. <gasps> My oh, God. A geologist. <laughs> Probably can. Uh, they prefer the term geomancer in this world, actually. It's I was thinking more Led Zeppelin, but... Okay. Magic. <laughs> that works, too. Um, so the school of magic is... Um, I suppose it would be enchantment? Maybe. Uh, Ragnar's just gonna point and be like, "Creepy magic." But like, we all knew that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I love the all of the effort that Don went to to find out the particular type, and then the relay there is creepy magic. Rag creepy Ragnar's magic. Stupid, Excellent. To be fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can um can you guys roll me investigation as you're nosing about? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Salem, you are distracted by a fly. Ragnar, you are similarly distracted by the same fly. <laughs> I would like to use my... As is Call. Call is trying to stop it. <laughs> Call also distracted. Gene, What's similarly. What's the deal with this fly? <laughs> uh, What's the deal with this fly? What's the deal with this fly? <laughs> so that roll, that would come a 15. That was a 15, was it? Okay, excellent. All right, then. Um, cool. Does that with, succeed? Yeah. That Could does it? succeed, yes. yes. So it is consumed or whatever it is. So with your with your investigation, you're able to brush past the fly as not really relevant. Um, and you can identify there's a, there's a number of tracks in and around this cavern, and they all seem to be reasonably recent, and almost all of them are moving towards where you've heard the sound from. Yeah. Yeah, excuse me. I will tell that to everybody in the group. Don't mm -hmm. say something's been here recently and it went that way. Yeah, and once again, I have to move you across this fucking diddy bridge. Mm -hmm. Note to self, change how I did the dynamic lighting. I have a question. Yep. Can I blow? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the horn of Gobbledy the Trog King. Can I blow with my Henry Hoover? You can yeah. you can blow the uh, the horn of gobbledygook. Gobbledygook, the trog king. The trog king, yes, you can certainly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Are you looking to direct Paul's... it at anything in particular, or? Uh, I'm thinking in this general direction. Paul's got this inkling that there's a challenge to be had, and he's not one to shirk away from said challenge, so he's going <laughs> to announce his presence. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I like presents. Um, all right, you uh, you pull the horn of uh, gobbledygook to your lips. It's and the give it a mighty... Gobbledy the Trog King. Gobbledygook the you, Trog King is his full name. Pick, you didn't pick a short name. You didn't pick a short name. I like presents too, Dan, actually. Okay. Yeah. Either way, the horn of Gobbledy the Trog King. You put it to your lips and give it a mighty blow. A tremendous... <laughs> resonates out. It's a very pleasing noise. You can feel it echoing around the whole cavern. You can feel it inside your own brain. You may have blown too hard. Your your face kind of hurts a little bit. Pops a blood vessel in his eye. Taino Definitely something has something has gone wrong. But that's how you know it's a good horn blow, a good blow. Um, do people want to move across this bridge as well? By yes. the way. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna. What does that horn do? Does that make us better? It does literally nothing. It's just a horn. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's, Cole has blown a horn. It's just let everyone know. Don't yeah, was feeling here. skimp. Don't was feeling like tight with uh... my prices at that point in time. So. <laughs> Never mind <laughs> about my stealth roll. <laughs> <laughs> you have now loudly announced to absolutely everybody beyond that stream that there are people here. Hmm. Uh, and as you kind of step closer up here, once you're able to get a clearer idea, this kind of cavern doorway here, you can see there is a solid green rippling wall. Ooh. It's clearly a magical enchantment. And it just is it. an almost impenetrable. Yes, you can throw a knife at it. Give me an attack, attack roll with the knife, please. I'll throw an egg at it in a minute. Oh yes. 
Okay, so, uh, Court, you pull out a psychic blade, aim at the wall and fling it. Um, it bounces back immediately off of the psychic wall, uh, of the wall, sorry. Uh, does a 27 hit? Um, it, it would hit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My question is, yep. could, as it is a psychic blade that I control, mm -hmm. surely I could just inherently dismiss it? Uh, you could, but it was a little bit too quick. You take seven psychic damage. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Can we... Yep. Can, I, in, can I finish in, what? Can I do what I asked to do? Yeah, hang on. Nugget's next. Nugget, you want to throw an egg at it, right? Yes, please. If you can make some kind of ranged attack roll, <laughs> maybe throw your javelin. That'll oh, I work. Just, I just did an athletics. Uh... If you throw your javelin, yeah. All right, you uh, throw your egg at the uh, wall. Does a 13 hit you? Uh, I don't believe no, it does. No, no. no exactly. The uh, the egg soars into the uh, the green wall, and then almost immediately, with a massive force, just comes flinging back out, much quicker than when you threw it initially, and it shatters on the wall next to you, just barely missing you. And uh, and horrible um, green. And Ragnar can lick it up, yeah. If he wants to, I'm not going to force him. Can we gather up all the eggs nearby and lay them out in a nice bed in front of the doorway so that anything comes through them immediately and then stamps on the, on the eggs? Can if you want. Yeah. 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 Are you trying so to do like a like a diehard glass trap or just, just, no, to just continuing psychological, off psychological damage? Show, yeah. It's just uni <laughs> What about What about going back and bringing the eggs that we've gone past on the other side of that bridge? Do you want to gather all of the eggs you can possibly find? Could, can we also... Yes, can we also okay. get a load of plastic cups and then half fill them with water and then put them all out over I, around I the front? The plastic <laughs> plastic yeah. Yeah. Have you got some plastic cups to have? Can we get, can and, we get uh, some napkins and some party hats as well? Yeah, and, 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 then, and then tape everything that's on the floor to the ceiling. Yeah, okay. I've drawn a little, I've drawn a little square as to where you are piling up eggs now. And knee slides and panda pops. You don't have any of those. <laughs> We don't have knees. No I yeah, make, I mean, I don't he's a frog. Pants. I don't know if he does. He's a frog. His, I... knees are, his knees bend backwards. Yeah, his knees are wrong. So yeah. no knees, no knee sides for him. <laughs> May I just uh, examine this water for any sign? Like, is this a bit of a drop there, or is that? There is a drop there. There's a pretty significant drop down there to the water. Yeah, yeah you're any... kind of on a, on the elevated level. Yeah. Any signs mm. of anything in the water from here? Uh, roll me a perception check, please. Just stand nice and close to it, Dan, and you'll find out. Uh, you can't see anything. The water looks water looks very stagnant. I don't trust it. I'm backing out. <laughs> I'm going to hide in this bush. Mm -hmm. Pushing a javelin through the barrier slowly rather than throwing it at it. You're going to uh, end up in the, the river. Okay, yep, yeah, certainly. Um, so you step forward, javelin in hand. Can you make me a melee attack? Just so, you know, so it's on there. This is like when all the hicks try to move Thor's hammer in the Thor movie. <laughs> All right, you uh, you slowly start pushing the javelin in, being very very slow and very careful. Um, when it's just maybe just a little bit in, just tiny bit into the wall, uh, it almost feels like something grabs it and forcibly pulls it, and then suddenly oh, no. reverses it and fires it back out uh, behind you. Fortunately, okay, uh, go a twelve it. doesn't hit you, so <laughs> you let go of it and it flies off behind you. And uh, yeah, okay, lands lands in the water. With a soft push. I don't like this soft. The, the... Once again, there's barely any ripple. I don't. I'm not liking that. I think. I think the. I don't trust this water. The torches that I had earlier. Mm -hmm. Can I put them into a circle and then light them on fire again? Uh, yeah, you can if you want. Yeah. Just stick them in the dirt and then just light them on fire with a tinderbox. Uh, okay. Yeah, certainly. You start you start trying to arrange them vaguely in the same pattern that you saw them previously. Yeah. Um, trying to configure them in the same way, and then you start lighting them. Um, and once the entire circle is lit up, nothing seems to happen. Okay. Mm. I immediately un un no, I extinguish, extinguish them, them stick again. them back in your bag. Yeah. There's no scream again. Nothing seems to have happened. I will return to hiding in the bush, please. Okay, please resume hiding in the bush. <laughs> I'll self check. Can I yeah, have a look in the water, please? No. Uh, yep, certainly. You can go and have a look in the water. Uh, as a frogman, actually, can you roll me perception with advantage? I know they're called Grung, but I like frogman more. 
Okay, uh, with a 16 in perception, um, you're kind of looking in the water. Again, it seems very stagnant. There doesn't really seem to be much here. Huh. You can't see... Huh. Where the where the javelin landed looks kind of shallow, but you can't see the javelin. That's weird. Hmm. 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 Let's throw a rock in it. Can I throw, can I throw the box of cats in, please? <laughs> uh, you can, but I have to consider it a hostile action. So, oh, you know, you've right. got to fight. Yeah. Oh, can, I, can I... Can I cast uh, Charm Person on um, Nugget to run headfirst into the wall? Into the, uh, into the okay. green wall. Again, we've got to do these <laughs> as, like, you know, hostile actions. So, you know... Mm -hmm. Inter-party combat is not a good idea. Let's move away from that. <laughs> um, should we ask um, Leopold? Leopold? Oh, well, yeah, Leopold I'm yeah. debating jumping in this if water. If he can help with mm -hmm. that barrier at all. Okay, you uh, you ask Sir Leopold if he can assist. He uh, he steps up to it and kind of runs his hand gingerly around it. You can see as he kind of like touches a little bit too much, his hand is almost blasted back a bit. He turns to the rest of you and says, I, I, I don't I don't know this type of magic. This is this is druid craft of, of a of a very high level. I, I'm not I'm not familiar with this sort of magic. I, I'm sorry. Can I make a suggestion that everyone yep. everyone's buying? We all simultaneously jump into this river. That sounds like a bad idea. Why don't you do it? And if it's good, we'll all join in. No, that's not what that's not the, the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, counter offer. You jump in, and if, no. it, if it goes off you, we'll all, we'll all, we'll all jump into with you. No, because I'm going to disappear because the, there's a there was a javelin that would, is not there. I'll yeah, tell you what, 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 what if we tie a rope man and race to first? I think for the chaos of it, let's do it. Let's jump in. I think we all it. jump in we, simultaneously. What if, what if half the party jump in and the other half of the party is still on the no, bank with together, the, tied, tied to the same people? Together, get back out again. Looking down into the ro river, can I mm -hmm. throw like a rock in and see and see what happens to it? Does it just... Okay. Yeah, certainly. So roll me perception, please. Uh, yeah. Is everybody stood on the up. edge to watch this? Yeah. We're all yeah, 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 wait, We're... Is this? Does everybody want to watch the rock <laughs> very carefully? <laughs> yeah. then yeah. You can all make perception rolls. That's fine. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Excellent. So, Gene, make a perception roll. Oh no. You get ready. Rolling. You toss a rock in. You're watching it, and then the moment it hits the water, there is the tiniest of ripple that almost immediately stops. And you're just trying to work out, oh, what happened? Where did that rock go? What happened? And yeah, if you can all roll me initiative, that would be you're great. Oh, dick, fuck. You're a fucking dick. Literally, I was counting how many things you threw in the river, and as soon as it hit three, it was happening. So... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm sitting right, right next to the fucking river. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I told you we should have jumped in. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that would have gone so much better. Jumping on top of the fucking thing. I think we can all agree that the people who weren't oh. on board with jumping in are cowards and uh, should be uh, forever known as that. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I'd cut off, your, I cut off your head, Court, if it were a little further from the ground. Okay, then. All right, I now... We will put this in turn order as uh, shortly after the rock hits there, the entire what appears to have actually wait, what you thought is the is the bottom of the river has now just stood up and in front of you appears to be some kind of horrifying pile of filth. Andy? It is Andy. He stands before you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Andy after a bath in a pond. <laughs> yes, it is a horrifying. It looks to be kind of humanoid, but it it's you know it's it's made of like fungus and leaves and silt and filth. It smells horrible. Filth and filth. And it now towers tall enough out of the river that it is essentially level with you. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. So Nugget, your turn. Can I try and maul it in the eye if its eye if its eye levels are roughly the same? Uh, you can't see anything that's clearly identifiable as eyes. There's, yeah. I guess, there's holes where a face could be that could be eyes. You can go for them if you want. Yep. Yep. And All right. Into rage first. Okay. Yep. Great. Perfect. Well remembered. Good lad. Proud of you. Yep. 
Don't forget it's to be my, reckless. It's not my first rodeo, this. <laughs> well, but it's also there's many times that you have forgotten. <laughs> um, All right, yeah. You know, what, you know, you know what I'm going to do for this? I haven't mm-hmm. done it pretty much. I'm going to frenzy. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yep. Because I don't. Okay, so that means that you make a melee attack action as a bonus action on each of your turns after this one. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. So I get two attacks, don't I, as a standard? You get two attacks, and after this turn on your bonus action, you'll be able to make an additional attack. Do I get an extra... Oh, no, you use your bonus action to rage. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, no, I'm, I'm trying to try remember how. Do you get two attacks as stand? No, it's only yeah. two. Yeah, I know. It's two attacks, and then yep. Yeah, yeah. You, get, you get a you get a standard attack plus a extra attack as a class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So um, you don't get an extra one. All right. All right. So these are reckless. So the first swing with Contsmall, you miss. You hit what just appears to be a pile of rotten leaves on its on its shoulder, maybe. Uh, the second one, however, you swing about. Now you've got a better idea, and you bring it crashing down on something that feels vital. Um, and so you do 23 points of damage. Excellent, excellent. All right, anything else for you? I think that's your action and your bonus action. Any movement for you? <laughs> exactly where I am. Okay, we move on to Ragnir. Uh, Stripy fleece. I would unsurprisingly also like to rage. Excellent, yeah. Please go for it. Oh, All right, as beard. you rage, you feel your beard overcome you, and you become the tiger. Uh, Sir Leopold, who is stood directly next to you, is suddenly now just stood staring at you. I've also realized I've forgotten to roll Sir Leopold's initiative, because I'm a fucking pro. Scrub. Um, yeah, really. I know what I'm doing. I'm good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Poor, poor old yeah. Arthur. What okay. did he ever do, eh? How, who, who's Arthur? No idea what you're talking about. Anyway, um, yeah, all right. yeah. Uh, so Ragnar, you have transformed into a tiger for the first time in front of Sir Leopold. You have also now gained the ability to teleport 20 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. And by gaining the ability, do, you must do it straight teleport. Away? Yes. Yeah. So where are you teleporting to? Uh, Behind. Oh, I can move you because it's yeah the walls. Yeah, so that's, there. That's okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh, good. I can't Perfect. see anyone else. Yep. Uh, so you have now teleported <laughs> onwards. You can't actually see the rest of the party now. They're too high up on the cliff, but you can see big scary monster, and we all know big monster kill kill. Yeah. Ignore that part about being able to teleport twice. That's not. Ah, oh, fuck. I gotta fix this. <laughs> every week every fucking week and then I just go yeah whatever I figured out how to make his token change I'm a god that's the thing what you would know, you like I'm not reading the whole text I'm reading exactly actually bit. that's true yeah, yeah, that's how I've made it longer so that he will actually read the relevant bit yeah, I'm a uh, genius I'm gonna yeah. mm-hmm. claw and bite okay you recklessly of course okay uh, so ignore the plus one, ignore the plus one. okay got it alright you uh, you land uh, having blink tigered your way over, you start swiping at the thing's legs. There's oh, there's four of them. Uh, okay, legs, I guess. Um, and you're able to strike very well. Um, there's the uh, there's the Constitution save for not aware tiger. Uh, I'm going to say you feel intrinsically within yourself uh, when you do bite this creature. That oh, this isn't this isn't a creature that's gonna. They, I can't turn this into a. Uh, into a were tiger. Um, can you roll me a Constitution save, please? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, so when you bite into it, you get this kind of horrible taste in your mouth, but you're able to kind of push past it, and it doesn't cause you any issues. Does it taste Anything like else for you? Pond? Oh, it tastes like the bottom of the worst pond you've ever you've ever tasted. And you've tasted your fair share of ponds. Um, no, that'll be my turn. I think that'll be your turn. <laughs> okay, Court, you are up. Um. Can I mm-hmm. talk as a free action? Um, as long as you're not asking to, you know, start reciting Shakespeare. Yes. I'm just gonna get Leopold's attention and just be mm-hmm. and just be like gesture over at Ragnar and just be like, he's not well. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna attack the monster. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go for it. With the deadly dagger of Donny. 
Go for it. So you stab in with the deadly dagger of Donny, Jesus Christ, and do 27 points of damage. That is a very good sneak roll. That was a very good sneak roll indeed. Okay, excellent. Um, I yep. am then going to mm -hmm. bonus action disengage. Yep. Oh, he's actually using his disengage. My yep, god. Okay. Like you can move freely without risk of uh, incurring reactions. One, two, three, four, five. Here. Okay. Um, and that will be uh, my turn. That'll be your turn. Excellent. Court runs away. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I just skipped. Oh, by the way, I, yeah, because I was saying, I'm leaving the deadly dog. Don't... Oh, you're yeah, leaving that him. embedded. Him. Okay, yeah. that's Deadly fine. dogger yeah. of Danny. Deadly dogger of Danny. And it's, yeah, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but it's if you roll a one on it, it falls out now, yeah? Correct, yes. Okay, that is fine. So, uh, Sir Leopold, uh, he brings about his large warhammer and uh, brings it about for uh, two quick smashes against the beast. And I apparently, okay, I'm double clicking a lot. Maybe I should look into that um and apparently he smashes three times he doesn't he smashes twice uh his first swing goes wide but his second one he's able to slam down on part of it and do a good amount of damage it appears uh and an extra four points of damage thank you i'll, I'll do all the rolls for it don't worry that works for me excellent that means i don't have to remember yeah. so and that is the leopold's turn now it is the uh lumps turn um as the creature brings about and it appears several additional arms or limbs or just slabs of turf have grown out of the back of it uh, and it is going to as i just quickly check one thing yeah that's all good is it is going to attack once on a nugget uh does a 26 hit Mm, yeah it does okay you take 8 points of bludgeoning damage half to 4 because it rolls shit um, and it's slamming once on Sir Leopold and that is missing so he's able to dodge just out of the way as a large slab of it just kind of smashes down on the ground um, however um, Ragnar as you are down on the ground with it as you're kind of looking up at it you feel something moving up above you, and all of a sudden it looks like there is a... Oh man, I'm, I'm letting you get eaten by a lot of creatures. Uh, it appears a large mouth has opened up on the bottom of it, uh -oh. and it is now trying to, uh, trying to eat you. Um, so can you make me a strength saving throw? You have advantage because you are raging, so this is your specialty. Um... Yeah, okay, you do You do beat it. The uh, large jaws come down on you, desperately trying to kind of consume you, or something of those lines, but you're able to uh, just about push the jaws away and stop it. Um, in doing so, it is taking a... Uh, okay, a, a nine doesn't hit you, does it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it does not. All right, so the creature has, uh, has failed to hit you on that one. All right, Gene, it is your uh... turn. Perfect. So I am first uh, going to uh, Mystic Step. Okay. Yep. Uh, away Where are you looking to go? This. Away. Yeah, that's usually the uh, usually the course. That's the play here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to come over here, uh, and then speak um, for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. You were. Uh... Raise your creepy fingers and I don't know in in finger guns. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, it's it's finger guns. Uh, I need to get I need to get like a like a, like a need to come up with a walking cane or something. Oh yes, excellent. That can be that can be your next uh, personal quest. Um, and fire off a blast. Um, so your first blast does hit and does seven points of damage. Uh, the second one unfortunately goes wide and smashes into the side of the cavern. Anything else for you, Gene? Uh, no, nah, that's good for me. Okay, yeah. Salem, it is your turn. So, I'm going to retreat a little bit over here. Okay, uh, can you, you will be provoking an attack of opportunity with that. What? Yep. Ah, uh, okay, I won't do that then. Okay, yeah, because the creature has got reach, so, and it's... <laughs> How much reach? 
it's, it's got a lot of it's got 10 feet reach 10 yeah okay well i will cast uh mm -hmm. uh is that a bonus action isn't it um i'll cast hex on okay the creature yep does that give it a roll that you make a, a poor one? I'm trying to remember now. Uh, buh -buh -buh -buh. Sun hit. Choose one ability, uh, and it has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability as well. Let's go with... Also, Dan, you forgot your job, by the way. Good wisdom. Lad. Okay, you're giving it weakness on wisdom okay that's fine for, is it one for each of the eldritch bars or just one for his second one missed oh my bad no worries then i'm gonna eldritch blast okay go for it please uh, i'm uh, slightly uh, concerned with dan's rigged d4 right now <laughs> all right <laughs> three in a row <laughs> oh Okay, so the first one goes wide. You've got a second one. Yeah. The second one does hit. What's the rule with your pushing? I want to push. Yeah, how does how does that work on big creatures? Um, Same. It's probably, so doubles a, bit, it's of, probably yeah, an entry for it. Uh, let me probably go. is a roll for it, isn't it? Let me just. No, there'll be an entry for it in his uh, character yet, that There the, will like, be, yeah. Thing. So it'll probably say in there in more detail. Yeah, the wording yeah, of it is literally just when you hit a creature with Eldritch mm. Blast, you push the creature up to 10 feet away from you in a straight line. That's all it says. That's a creature. It is a creature. Yeah, everything I'm seeing. Oh, hang on. Here's a, here's a thing from uh, what's his face? The, that, whoever the D&D big fellow is. Uh, Big okay. wig. Good. Unless the creature is specifically immune to movement in this sort of thing. Yeah. It's not, yes. so you're pushing it ten feet away from you, correct? Yep. Okay, you can, so you can literally do that to like a fucking elder dragon or something. Five. That is ten. Okay. As you kind of push it away, um, you notice that as it starts to leave the uh the river, um it appears to be shriveling up. Uh, somewhat. <laughs> uh, part of it is still in the river, um, so it seems to be getting some strength from that still, but it does seem like by pushing it out of the river it's substantially uh, substantially weakened. Anything else for you, Tom? So, I also get the uh, hex damage. Oh, yes. What is which that? Which is Let's... a d6. Roll me uh, two d6, please. Because you got a crit. But I, I'm also spells... Oh, no, that doesn't change anything. 2d6. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very nice. That's seven additional damage. Okay, then. Uh, and so, what was yep. this? Maddening Hex. Ah, oh, I've already used a bonus action, haven't I? You have, yep. Okay. All right. Yep. Cool. It is your turn. The creature has now been pushed. It's out of range of even your whip, I believe. Yeah, whip is only reach. It's not a long reach. Indeed. Um, Can I jump down here? Is that allowed? You can, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to move your token, but Yeah, if you could do that, yeah. that'd be great. Okay, so cool. You jump down. Yeah, splash into the water, splash, splash yep. off. We'll just count that as just five feet uh, of movement. So yeah, the water is not that deep. And you move across. I can't mm -hmm. look like here, I guess. Yeah, that's probably about right. You're trying to get uh, flanking, I assume, yeah. Does that count as flanking there? Yeah, I'd say that would, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. It's that's a big right, enough right. creature that yeah. I'm gonna cast uh under a smite. Okay. So that's a buff on your next hit, isn't it? To do seven extra points of damage, right? Or yeah. eight extra points of damage. Uh, I don't have to find favor, so ignore the power of stonk. I will. Um, so seven, okay. Yeah, seven extra damage on my next hit. And seven I'm extra now points of thunder swing. damage, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yep. Yeah, it also rings out with a thunder that's sort of within 300 feet. <laughs> You're in a cavern, this shit's gonna echo, okay? Yeah, we're all gonna go deaf. <laughs> As Cole does, significant friendly fire damage. Swing! <laughs> bada bada. Yep. Okay, you bring about the death knell, Halberd. You make a 
reaping motion as you're you're leaning into this reaper man angle you're quite fond of it now um and you do indeed hit the creature so that's 15 First points of slashing blacksmith i meet <laughs> exactly yes so that's 15 points of slashing damage seven points of thunder damage and he needs to make a strength save and he needs to make a strength save or what happens let's have a look uh push 10 feet back and not prone what is the save he has to meet uh it's not particularly high i think it's dc 10 Ah, he does make that, unfortunately. Is it DC 10? Or is it oh, no, hang on, yeah, it's DC 15. Uh, he, yeah, he does. He, he rolled quite well. He does still make that. No, that's the wisdom save. At the top is his strength save. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's based on the same stat for me. Uh, it's, yeah, it's your, your spell yeah. save DC, isn't it? Yeah, so he is not, uh, he is not pushed, um, but you've got a second swing as well, I believe. Uh, I do. Mm -hmm. I don't have any more bonus actions. I can't do any other fancy stuff, so I'll hit him again. All right, you bring about the halberd again for a second swing, and you do indeed strike true. And that is an additional 11 points of slashing damage. Does your smite go off twice, or is it just on one attack? Uh, is this the next Good attack? Good, but, uh... Oh, yeah, first time. Okay, right, fair enough then, yeah. Um, saving throw be pushed. Yeah. All right. Cool. Can I also yep. bung in a divine smite in there? You can pump in a divine smite. Yeah. You choose after you've hit. So yeah. Seventeen radiant damage. Seventeen points of radiant damage. Excellent. Okay then. As you uh, as you deliver the uh the radiant damage, you can see kind of something within the creature appears to be appears to be sizzling. There's there's an unpleasant, a genuinely incredibly unpleasant smell coming from the inside of this creature, it appears to have reacted quite poorly to radiant damage in particular. Nugget, Ooh. it is your turn. Right. Uh, I have a good opportunity here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to try and, what, jump on top of it, or what's your... Yeah, why not? Okay, certainly. Give me a moment. Yeah. I just... uh, to back it up. You leap. Are you just going to try and leap directly on top of this yeah, thing then? It's like upper, like its shoulders back. On, yeah, onto kind of its shoulder back. <clears throat> you're not. You're not going to land directly in its mouth. You're not going to no. do a Ragnar. No, no. It still only counts as one. <laughs> All right. You leap directly on top of the uh, of the beast. Um, it's enough like a piece of land that you can kind of stand on it. What would you like to do? Deliver. Three blows. Three blows. Okay, then. Let's see some attack rolls. Please and thank you. Okay. You, I'm about uh, to say it's nothing not consistent, but it's not <laughs> you, it's, it's really consistent, like, numbers, though. They what? look nice. Can I remind you that I am recklessly attacking? Yeah, I, honestly, I just kind of assume you barbarians are always recklessly attacking, to be honest with you. I just always give the enemy advantage on you. Um, no, so uh, <laughs> as you bring about the... Uh, you bring about cunt small and smash into the head of this creature, shoulder, chest, forehead. You can't tell what part you're hitting, really. It's lost all kind of discernible dis uh, ability. Uh, and you do hit three times, so that's 13, 16... 13 points of damage. That is a lot of damage. The beast is kind of swaying now. It barely appears to be staying up. And Ragnar, it is your turn. It's 42. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Uh, I would like to... Uh... Chew his leg off. Yeah, but... <laughs> Great! In the other order. In the other order? <laughs> All right, so you're going to spice things up by clawing and then biting, or okay? Yeah, I'm going to clear a bit of patch of grass on him and then yep. bite that. Okay, and then bite that. So you bring about your claw doing a nice solid slash on the creature. That's 16 points of damage. Excellently done. Uh, you then you then go for a bite on what appears to be a kind of clearer area. It's not as much damage, but I mean it's nine points of damage. It's still a good bite. Uh, can you roll me that con save again, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Please and thank you. Okay, yeah, no, you seem to be fine, but you got a really, ah, uh, genuinely unpleasant taste in your mouth. It is. Oh, oh, you got to stop biting that bog. All right, Court, it is your turn. Oh, and as a bonus action, I'd like to teleport over here. 
Oh yeah, Ooh. okay. Are you, do you want to go back up? Uh, no, no, stay at the bottom. But stay at the bottom there. Okay, just that's fine. Out of reach. <laughs> just out of reach of the thing. All right. Yeah, caught. Uh, also, because I was well, not paying is attention. The Donny Dagger still. Yep. Yeah. It's. It's. I. This is what I gave it to Dan to do. So it's how long until he rolls a one, but apparently his rigged <laughs> dice just is working. So I mean, you did give me a rigged dice at the start of this game. So I know, but it was it was not a d4. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so I'm so gonna at my two attacks as well. You done those already? Uh, no. No, you missed mine. Okay. Oh, there's another one. All right. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right. I'm gonna yeet a psychic blade at it. Okay, go for it, please. Yep. All right, you uh, you produce a psychic blade and once again fling it at the creature. Uh, you will get sneak attack, won't you, because of uh, Nugget. Yep. So the psychic blade does hit, and that does uh, 23 points of damage. Excellent. The beast is staggering. You're what? Jesus Christ, I clearly didn't nerf that dagger enough. Um, <laughs> I should have <laughs> nerfed Dan's ability to roll stand. dice. This um, is just shockingly consistent. <laughs> I'm gonna yeet the other dagger at it. Okay, go for it. You spin about and fling the other dagger. Now there's no sneak attack on this one, but you do deal seven points of psychic damage and then four points of Donny damage. Needless to say, the beast was stunned. Needless to say, <laughs> the beast was stunned. Uh, he hasn't got a whip cracky tail, so that's unfortunate. He's got whip cracky um, arms though. It has, that is true. Right, very quickly before we go on to the next turn, Ellen has just come back from work, so I'll be one second. Yeah. With crack, what is with the tail? Beast was then. Be you angels. No one? Really? What? You said nay. We are but men. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think the first time I watched that film was actually with Richard. Really? Yeah. Film? I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, we we watched it at my parents' house once. <laughs> uh... And you know it was a long time ago because it was at my parents' house. <laughs> And the only reason you were at my parents' house is because you were friends with my sister, so it was like secondary school. Yeah, because I, I don't think I don't think I only came went there a couple of times. Uh, you came there a fair few times. There was a few parties in the garden and a few like drunken evenings in the in the living room. Yeah, that was a long time ago. <laughs> it does seem like a long time ago. I think I that's possibly because it's getting close to nearly two decades ago, which is terrible. Jesus Christ, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so old. <laughs> well, no, it was. I mean, I finished secondary. I finished Clavrum in 2010, so 13 years ago. I was probably in year what like you. I was when I was in school. You were nine. I was six. Yeah, 16, 17 years ago, probably. Fuck. Yeah, that's. That's about half my life ago. And you're still getting drunk and watching stupid films and playing stupid games. Yeah, I, really, I skipped the lesson on uh, growing up. Yeah, separated. I came across Pick a Destiny as just like, <clears throat> not like chance. So I, I, think I, did, I think I got it for like a Christmas or birthday one year. Or it was just like random. Like, oh, I was cool watched it I'm like, oh i fucking love this i i think i'd seen clips of it when i was in like year eight and then i saw it when one of claire's friends brought it over yeah i think we had I it think... on dvd so it might have been me that brought it yeah that was the same time you introduced me to paramore too yeah, you're welcome you've got you've got, you, you've got a lot to answer for <laughs> I say that the reality is all the music on them are NPC was largely from Tom or you. Yeah, we were the prolific like just torrenters. Mm. I mean, no, we legitimately bought every CD. He remembers as a man who's currently recording. 
and then ripped and shared it to everyone we knew. Yeah. Was it was it you or him who like left field? Oh, that was. They, yeah, they were shit. <laughs> they had like a cup, like yeah. Our, as a group, our taste of music was weird because it was all like old rock, it, rap, yeah, or, like drum and bass. Yeah, I don't think I need a drum and bass made it on my PC. Alright, I'm back. Oh. <clears throat> well, well, well. Richard and I have just taken a really weird little walk down memory lane, so feel free to <laughs> cut that off. Uh, no, I think you're fine. We cut everything else out, and this just goes into Richard's newest podcast. It's called the D&D Downtime. It's going to be a whole thing. Right, anyway, Sir Did Leopold. You mean the, the poo discussion a separate episode, Richard? I didn't record the poo discussion. I hovered over the record button for so long. <laughs> is it is it safe now? No, it's still going. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, Sir Leopold, he leaps down as well to join the fray. Uh, and he is going to swing at the beast. He's going to uh, put everything into one massive downward blast of his hammer. <laughs> all one movement as he jumps down he just swings with his hammer it's all one off. graceful moment massive smashing massive down the hammer move. completely misses um, <laughs> just smashes into the water he's left kind of slightly down on one knee completely out of position um, <laughs> yeah that's his, that's his whole fucking turn <laughs> he, he put everything into his hammer down move um, right then so now Andy, you are stood atop the Shambling Mound. The Shambling Mound doesn't quite like that, and so he's going to try and eat you. Does a 26 hit? Yes, it does. Great, I need you to make me a strength saving throw. You take 14 points of of piercing damage, uh, half to 7 because you're raging. Uh Right, so that's half. Let's hit that first. Yep. And you want a strength save? Yes, please. You have advantage on this because you're raging. Okay, and he could possibly beat that. He does possibly beat it. (laughs) You sounded like Simon from the Yogscast then. I I don't know who that is, but let me just say he needed a nat 20 to beat that, and he got a nat 20. (laughs) Um, As the... uh, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This feels very odd. Can't um, Andy's it's a bad thing. thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as the uh, as the very base of the thing you're stood upon appears to rip open, and teeth suddenly appear, they start stabbing into you. That's where you take the seven points of piercing damage from, and suddenly it pulls you in. You are now blinded, restrained, and unable to breathe. Um, so mm. at the start of your turn you would take some damage so I'm going to make a note there because it'll be at the start of your turn that we'll deal with this does so we'll go with the chained heart like uh oh yeah I'm just thinking he Did does he? yeah if you can have a look at exactly what that is because is that you can hold your breath or is it you can breathe underwater because those are different things uh, and I suppose yeah a stomach's not full of water uh, typically not um, okay <laughs> and uh, call does an eight hit? I'm probably not. I'm not going to grace out with the answer. It's good. It's all right because uh, Leopold does a twenty-seven hit. Oh yes, it does. So the uh, the large weird tentacle comes slamming down on Sir Leopold, and he takes oh he takes quite a lot of damage actually. Um, just do that. How much is that? Oh, God. As uh, Sir Leopold uh, takes, uh, for your sake, I suppose he takes twenty-eight points of damage. Nice. Jesus. All right, Gene, it is yeah. your turn. Uh, how hurt is this thing? It is in a very, very bad way. However, um, it still is partially in the water, <laughs> and that part of it appears to be kind of healthier. Uh, all right. Um, don't, don't think I can do much about that, unfortunately. So mm-hmm. I am just trying to pass it down. Here and then do my yep. traditional um, uh, Eldritch Blast. Mm-hmm. Yeah! Oh, very nice, very nice. All right. Thank you, Dan. Because it was a crit. Yep, exactly. Okay, so as uh, Gene, you step up, 
You ready your first finger gun, you blast that one over the shoulder just to kind of scare them. Then you pop about yeah. your second one. This is how you do it. Uh, as you aim the uh, finger gun directly at the face where your friend Nugget has just vanished. Um, and blast off and uh, dealing a total of it's 11. It's so uh, that is. How much is that? Uh, 11. 14. 17 18. points of damage. 18. 18, 18 points of damage. Addition is hard, guys. <laughs> uh, 18 points. I need to actually add one more onto that. 18 points of damage as the uh, shambling creature now has to make a save. Which it fails um, as the creature appears to buckle and kind of stagger forward. Uh, Nugget is thrown free from its mouth. Can I can mm -hmm. I do some damage on the way out so we get an attack opportunity? Uh, you do not when you're vomited up by a creature. <laughs> so, oh. Sorry, I I don't want to set the precedent with Richard here. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Can I uh, leave anything else for you? Inside him? Oh, I'll say without a doubt, he squeezed something oh, out of you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. That'll be it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, right. Excellent. Salem. Uh, the beast is now on all fours, or all six. It's hard to tell. Lots of tentacles. Ready to receive your limp penis. Ready to receive your limp penis. And it appears to be kind of just throwing itself back into the water. Let's see about that. <laughs> um, Salem is going to go. See where you are, but angry yourself. He's uh, he's up yeah, above, yeah. Proper uh, <laughs> Is is, is this the wall behind him, like a, yeah, a you cliff want to be that, face? You want to be this side here. That is a Not cliff face behind him. Yes, gap. yes. So I need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is works. That, yeah. Is that free space behind him, or is that the edge of the another? That is up? that is free space behind him. Yeah, he could. Yeah, you're looking to knock him into that. I'm not an idiot. Yeah, that yeah. is that is cool. Where he could go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do another... Eldritch blast. What do the cats do when they order blast? Just like meow at someone. I see their eyes glow. Yeah, they are. They the tail. They... They go from like all like kind of dozing and looking at like different <laughs> things to suddenly all their heads turn around and look. Oh, they all look all at once. Yeah. It's like yeah. the video yeah. where you see like a bunch of kittens and someone's like holding a toy in front of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know when like cats are at night and their eyes do that weird reflective thing, they all yes. go that color. Oh, yeah. 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 That or one of them does finger guns, you know, just saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all of the Good cats suddenly turn. Team in perfect unison, and make eye contact with the shambling mound, uh, you do 14 points of damage, I plus get hex. an additional 3, plus 6, so... Yeah, plus okay. maddening hex. Plus maddening mm. hex, which, which is... Which is my charisma modifier, which is... Okay, yeah, wow, all right. 5. Uh, okay, yeah. So that's next and... to 5. And he's not then. ten feet backwards as well. Let's not ignore that as the creature moves. And then Eldritch Blast again. Okay then. And another and ten feet. <laughs> another ten feet. All oh, right. As the uh, cats turn around and re re stare, I don't know, um, at the creature and fire off another Eldritch Blast. It does thirteen points of damage, plus an additional four. Genuinely, Dan, what the fuck are the odds? <laughs> what are the I'll work it out right there. <laughs> Please do because I don't get it. Um as the uh as the Eldritch Blast rips into the creature, it's fully pushed out of the uh out of the muck, it's blasted back even further, and it appears to let out a mournful howl. It's still technically alive, but it is now looks withered and burned and bruised. Anything else for you, Salem? Uh that's it. Okay then, call. It is your turn. The creature looks very unhealthy. Mm. I'm gonna have him. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Help me. Yep, you are in range of the beast. I can stand here, didn't I? <laughs> oh, okay. 
fucking scythe's got reach, bitch. It's not a scythe. Yep. Yet. <laughs> uh... You're just gonna bend it. <laughs> Mate, what if I don't find a fucking blacksmith soon? I'll just fucking hammer it in and save myself. Um, I'm gonna bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, fuck it, why not? Bonus action, divine favor. Wait, can I upcast that? Is that a thing? I don't know. I assume so. Didn't it, does it have options for if it doesn't if it doesn't have enough upcast option it can't be upcast. Uh, really. No, okay. But yeah, I'll do that. Mhm. Mm so that's my last spell slot, but it means I get some more damage. That's nice because it's radiant damage. He doesn't like radiant damage. Mhm. Mm so power of the stonk is in is in effect. Oh, right, you bring about the halberd, uh, and in a reaping motion. Uh, it unfortunately misses the creature. Ugh. The 14 does not hit. How about that? Of course, you were just uh, you were just warming up. You bring it about the second time. This time, much better. Uh, that is an insane chance, Dan. <laughs> Can you roll one more time? To say it still doesn't fail. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, so as you bring the uh, you bring your halberd, not a scythe, uh, down. Ooh. Upon the beast, it does 18 points of slashing damage, including 3 points of radiant damage, an extra 3 points of donny damage as well. These, these, Jesus Christ, Dan. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, as the halberd, as the uh, radiant damage flows out of the, uh, of the halberd, that appears to be the last possible remnant of life in this beast. It lets out a mournful howl as it sizzles and burns in front of you and is now dead. Mate, in that case, fucking... Mm -hmm. And the, uh, oh, the bell, the bell rings tolls. out, of course. Yes, yes, the bell does toll for thee. All right, I will clear the turn order as combat is now over. Fucking, I love that, that this end of the combat is just a fucking bell going off. Like, yeah, fuckers. <laughs> I have to imagine it's like a wrestling bell, you know? It yeah, is, ding, yeah. Ding. Like... yeah. <laughs> no, I always think of it as the uh, the opening like note of the Undertaker's entrance music. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Mm. Uh, I go and collect the deadly dagger of Donny. Yeah, you're the deadly <laughs> dagger of statistical improbability. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jesus fucking I'm not going to actually go get it because I can't move around, but fuck oh, me, I'll, I should have rolled a wine at some point. I'll, I'll grab what? it and throw it. <laughs> I'll grab it and throw it into court. <laughs> oh, Wait, God. If, if it means we don't um, lose it, I'll just store it in my own body. Like... <laughs> I'm just pasting that percentage in chat so I don't lose it because that's that's, seen that's genuinely seven Like I can't believe that. I, I think that's right. Dom, how, I, many, I, how many times yeah. did you roll it? Seventeen rolls. Seventeen rolls. I might have seventeen. Rolls. That's right. One. Richard, no, Jesus. Richard. Uh, Tom, you might want to correct my maths on that. Check my maths on it. What? Seventeen rolls of a D4 and not well, coming up with a one. Was. It's a uh, just seventy five percent, you know. Was it? Yeah. Every time, Three over right? four yeah. times. How many times? Seventeen. Seventeen. So three over four to the power of seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Hmm. Because three over four to the power to the power of it would be times yeah. by itself. Yeah. Yeah, which is times, what you yeah. do. Yeah. Because yeah. it's not a whole number, so it gets smaller each time. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Like Suck a bitch, I got an A-level in maths. <laughs> it's a little less than 1%. I don't, I don't you know remember any of it. I oh, I was I slightly math, off. Like, I, I got an order right. out, so it's 0.75% chance. Right. Oh, okay, less okay. Than, less than 1% chance. There you go. Yeah, that is... Jesus. Can we keep this going? I, I think... Keep track of how many, how many times you do this before I we think go again. He's going to get a 1 on his next D4. <laughs> We need to verify how good this random number generator really is. I mean, that's what I'm getting out of this. I uh, think we Brennan are Lee Runnigan recently right said now. this, and uh, oh, Roll20 came out brilliant. and showed him how their, their random number generator works. See, yeah, I got a ton of ones. That's a lot of ones. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. five ones. I know, right at the beginning, the dagger would have fallen out and me lost if I'd have been in charge of it. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, listen, yeah. guys. 
I'm just yeah. a statistical marvel, apparently. <laughs> it's like right, calling it at the start of the campaign. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's true, yeah. You're a... You're yeah. a, you're a... <laughs> I'm a wizard, Harry. You're a, <laughs> you're a fucking anomaly, Dan. You're a statistical marvel. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't. <laughs> All right, excellent. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Are we doing the top of the? Do you want to climb back up? You yeah. guys can move back up if you want. You can stay yeah. down here. Choice is kind of yours. Has Richard. that green barrier gone now? The green barrier is still there. In fact, it seems to be completely unchanged. Can I blow the horn again? I mean, like you can blow the horn if you want. Yeah, everybody's ears yeah, are still kind of ringing from your thunderous walk, smite. So uh, go for it. Right up, right up here, and fucking blast mm -hmm. that horn and be like, motherfuckers, mm -hmm. come out you, from your hole. If you I stop up, you blow the horn. Nothing happens. Can we? Can oh, we? Th in the river, does anything happen this time? Sorry, Ed. Yep. Okay. Um, as you as you throw a uh, rock into the river, um, it kind of just lands in the water like a normal rock would. In fact, the water appears to be moving a lot more freely now. And you notice almost immediately that the water seems clearer now that the beast is dead. Mm. Beast is done. It was clearly pissing in there. <laughs> no, that's uh, Andy. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he sorry. pisses on skulls. Sorry, yeah. Is the yeah, if you need to move across. Mm -hmm. Coming from the same direction as what might be through this door. So this water appears to be flowing kind of downwards. You know what? You made a good point. Let me check something really quickly. Um, it does not appear... To, you, you can't really tell where it's coming from. Uh, but it does appear it's coming from kind of this this way, you know? Uh, further this way rather than this room, which appears to be kind of up here. Uh, can I try and just, like, knock on the door? Like, the barrier? Like, as, as though it's a door. Okay, yeah, you uh, you go and knock on the barrier as if it's a door. Uh, your hand just kind of bounces away. Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> so, uh, as you're kind of standing here and, and mulling things over, you kind of hear a similar a similar screeching noise that you heard earlier. Mm. Um, and the barrier in front of you appears to ripple. And suddenly two or three or four or five, lots and lots of green bolts come firing out. Uh, they don't They don't end up coming towards you. They, however, arc over your shoulders, and it appears half of them have gone down this way down the river, and the other half have gone the other way down the river. The barrier still stands. Oh, lovely. Um, <clears throat> is there something at the end of these rivers? Yeah, I'm going to go kind of explore and see. Can I see anything mm -hmm. down there at the end of the river? Okay, as you kind of get to that point and look down the river, you can see that this river curves down and there's another canyon, there's another cavern further down that way. There is more to explore in this cave. What's this? Let's go down there then. Maybe we have to what's, unlock it through something. What's what you're looking at? Sorry, Sam. It looks like there's a token in that slot above uh, Salem. Above Salem? Uh, oh, see this something. Uh, very well. Yeah, that's court. Cool. Um, oh, it's caught. Cool. Right, sorry. I, was, like, like, <laughs> I know I'm you. small, Sam. But, uh, <laughs> what is this strange alien creature? <laughs> I can only see a sliver of his token because of the lighting. Mm. So I, I thought it was something else. All right, no, yeah, that's yeah. that's just that's just caught. Cool. All right, let's go <clears> investigate. Yeah, let's okay, go down. Do that you guys want to? Do you guys want to climb down here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm move you down. Bridge. You can cross the. Oh yeah, sorry. Hang on. You can cross the bridge over here and, oh, right, and find some yeah. more stuff as well, or you can go down into the river. How did you manage to do that, Ed? Oh, I thought you did it. Ed's broken the map. Ed's just moving freely, apparently. Oh, I'm going to move everybody down here, I'm assuming. Ed has found a hole in the map I forgot to fix. Whoops. Uh, uh, there isn't yeah. a hole. I managed to do it with just holding all. <laughs> oh. And oh. trying to I'm, I'm going to move Andy to... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you start to... Go any... Oh, no, you can't. No, there's a gap somewhere. I found a gap in the wall. Yeah, you should be able to... On this level, you should be able to just move through the bridges because, yeah, you're just walking through the river. Okay, as you kind of trek your way further down the river... Um, hang on, i got to make sure I get this right now. Give me a minute. I swim. You can swim if you want, but it's about one foot deep, so, I mean... All right, I'm, 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 less, I'm less than six inches deep. So you're, you're kind of basically just lying in the river and pushing yourself <laughs> along. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, okay, that works. Give me a minute as I... Be on my back. Can I backstroke? You, you can flail around on your back all you want, you know, no problems. Cool, thank you. All right, as I you just need, you need quite a lot of water to backstroke, effectively. Well, yeah, it's not an effective yeah, backstroke to be. He's a frog. Not, not if you backstroke with just breaststroke legs and don't move your arms, you don't need yeah. any depth of water. Also, all right, he is a frog. Uh, he, has, as, he has the ability to to swim quite well. As you guys traverse yourself further and further down the river, you see it kind of is moving into some kind of some kind of further passage. It gets a bit dark and a bit winding and confusing, but as you kind of emerge after a while, you'll be on the left-hand side of the screen. Mm -hmm. As you kind of emerge, you can now hear a little bit clearer kind of over the sound of the water what sounds like wind whistling. And also there's, there's a faint... You think I... you can pick up just the edges of a conversation. Ooh, oh, I was heading for a waterfall, but... What, what, can, can we hit, make out the words? You can't quite make out the words. It, it sounds like somebody is trying to keep themselves quiet and is just muttering to themselves. Oh, the horn! I would like to sneak. I would like to blow the horn. I would oh, not okay. sneak. <laughs> do, do you want to blow the horn? Fuck yeah, I do. Okay, then. Uh... Cool, you emerge into the area kind of in front of you. It's a nice opening, clearing, and you think, well, you know what? This'll do. You pull out the horn, let's get this over with, and you blow it. I think we're just scaring them away, like we're just pushing them away. If everybody can stop moving for a moment, that'd be grand. Uh, Cool, are you running away and hiding in a bush? Caught, yes. Caught. Fucking same thing. Roll me a stealth joke, please. No, they're uh, not. <laughs> no, they are distinctly not the same thing, so that's fine. Okay, yeah. excellent. One of us is a massive powerhouse of damage, and the other one's a minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> okay, as you... Uh, no, no, you don't want to play that game. <laughs> as you blow the horn, um, you're kind of stood there feeling a bit smug. You're kind of glancing around, trying to see if there's anything up on these kind of... There's clearly these these bits up above you. Uh, where somebody could be looking on you, and suddenly you hear a thundering voice that just roars out, "Call!" Knows your name. Now, if you can roll me a perception I, check I or a history check or name, something, <laughs> I do shout it a lot. <laughs> you do shout it quite I don't a lot. Think a lot of people do, Sam. I think too many of them are now dead <laughs> for there to be a lot of people that know your name. People watch me kill other people, though. So that, yeah, that <laughs> oh, okay. Um, what am I yeah, rolling? Can you roll the uh, history check? Yeah, we'll go with history. Me personally. It's your personal history, yes. Just oh, you. Can I have advantage? History. You definitely get advantage on this, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I almost attempted to give you disadvantage, to be honest with you, just for that. But okay, you're kind of racking your brain, thinking, "I know that voice. Why do I? Why do I know that voice? Why do I know that? Voice? I've definitely heard that voice before." Mum, <laughs> mum? No, not mum. Dad? No, probably not dad. Jeff? Oh, dead. No, no, he's no. Oh. And all of a sudden, leaping down from up above, another minotaur comes crashing into the river next to you. Oh, shit. Oh, he stands shit. in front of you, holding in his hands what appears to just be a large totem. He oh. places it down on the ground. He points directly at you, Call. Oh, nice then. And says, you should not be here. Uh, now, in that brief moment of, who the fuck is this? You suddenly remember. This is yeah, Gruff. I, I, I know Gruff. He and I used to be like a, we, you know, when I was just starting out, we, we were a warm-up act. We were two minotaurs who fought exactly. together. What happened to Griff? <laughs> yeah, there was Griff and Guff. No, what Griff. Griff? Where, where's my Griffin? Hmm? There he is. Uh, he's not summoned. Uh, you, didn't he get... you didn't bring him down into the mines. I don't think he gets unsummoned, does he? Uh, yeah, but you didn't bring him down into the mines with you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll buy that in mind. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'll say you can have him come down later, but not not right now. Like. No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yes, this is uh this is Gruff. You and he used to uh used to do gladiatorial combat as kind of like an early warm up when you were just getting started out. You would train together a bit occasionally. You haven't seen him in years. Last you heard, he had a bit of a hippie bend to him, and he and he kind of 
vanished yeah, and stopped no in the fighting cave thing anymore. So he is now standing before you with his totem kind of placed to one side, pointing at all of you and saying, Get out of here! This doesn't concern you! Cole's just like, just, he, honestly, he's not very bright. He's just slightly confused. He's just like, what, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> Like, right, the does not understand your presence. He genuine, strives, genuine, genuine, like yeah. genuine, like idiotic mm. confusion. Just like no, like brain doesn't what? compute why you're here. Yeah, you, know, you, you don't belong in this part. You, know, you you live somewhere else. <laughs> this, this isn't your part of the world. Yes, yeah, literally. He's, it's not yeah, like everybody a, fits into nice cubicles for me. He's not, yeah, he's not being. Yeah. He's not trying to be like an asshole. He's just genuinely an idiot. Okay, the uh, the minotaur kind of strolls towards you and just kind of you know as he once again brings about the totem and now places it over a shoulder and says you made your choices in life I made mine I chose to protect life you chose to take it and I will I will kill you to protect these caverns do not make me oh I forget sometimes that we're the bad guys. <laughs> and then these moments, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Cole doesn't appreciate being threatened. <laughs> he kind of t- takes offence to that. Um, yep. Uh, so Leopold is going to uh, is going to step forward. Uh, kind of just just behind you, Cole, mm-hmm. and say, "We seek only to protect life, but these caverns are the cause of great death." Uh, Gruff appears completely unconcerned as he just starts trying to kind of shuffle you out, you're gesturing for you to leave. You know, you have to leave now. Please, Cole. We were like brothers once. Yeah. Apparently you barely recognize me, but we were like <laughs> brothers. Cole doesn't do emotional attachment. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's, he's quite easy. He's a mercenary. He's a mercenary in many ways. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do social bonds. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Cole's Cole is un unmoved by Gruff's pleas. He doesn't he doesn't care much for nature. He doesn't have the intelligent intelligent <laughs> or capacity to give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he's gonna he's gonna call Gruff out and be like. En- enough with your hippie bullshit. Like, you need to explain what's going on or we're not leaving. <laughs> your nature like, just tried to kill us. Yeah, like, we just we just had to deal with your fucking living turds, so we deserve a, a, an explanation. All right. If you, if you can convince us by actually telling us what's going on that we should leave you mm. be, then we probably won't, but we might consider it. <laughs> okay. So with with that, you know, with that almost almost plea of like, look, just tell us what the fuck's going on here. Come on, man. Uh, Gruff places his totem down and looks at you with a with a just look of pure sadness in his eyes as he kind of growls a bit and then says, "Many years ago, all this land was fertile and free for the wilds, but it's been." It's been taken over. It's been turned into cities, into towns. People have spread like a plague. So my circle and I, we have come together to bring this land back to what it should be. We're restoring life here, brother. We're turning the land back to how it used to be. It's it's as noble a goal as one could ask for. How subtle do you think Cole can be? Um, he's a minotaur in full plate. I'll be honest with you, it's not his strong suit. <laughs> so if I was to turn to Leopold yeah. mm-hmm. and so, and let's sort of be like, no, it'd be some fucking hippie shit. He used to like he used to be like he used to be he used to be a fucking good one. Now he's a fucking green like, tree hugger. <laughs> He's terrorist. <laughs> he is. Yeah, uh, tell you what, roll, roll me a stealth check with disadvantage to like make some, you know, comments to to Sir Leopold. 
<laughs> you you go to make the comment subtly, but you realise that because of the echo in the cave, you just set you just set it a perfectly normal volume. How how quickly can I act? A pretty upon quick. Real, I mean, upon realising, real, realising, 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 realisation. Upon realising, <laughs> upon realisation of my mistake. Yeah. How quickly can I respond? <laughs> Uh, pre- pretty, pretty quickly. I mean, you're, so, a, you know, you're a, you're a gladiator. He has, like, he has told me that he put his totem down. He has put his totem down. Yes, that is true. So he is currently unarmed. He is. Yes, he's desperately right. pleading with you. He is yep. Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Surely I get advantage for surprising him. You do get advantage on a surprise attack, <laughs> which, is, which is almost annoying given that that one. To be honest with you, cool. Just like. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nah. So yeah, he really, your intention he's, he's, is, he's, yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna fucking have it. Are you just stabbing at him, or are you knocking the totem away? Is what? Yeah. What's the? Oh yeah, options, isn't there? Yeah, he's. I bet, mm. I bet he loves. I bet he loves that totem. Probably. Um, can I? Can I cleave the totem in two? Or, uh, you or could smash it into pieces. Like you could I, try, but I mean, this thing try. is. You know, this is like the size of a tree. You know, this is not. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, this is. Right, I'll just a, fucking. Right, he's I'll, a big I'll lad, it. and it's a big totem for him. So if it's yeah. the attack, then mm. I will. I'll use that attack if that's all right to fucking bat it as far from him knock as possible it away from him. Okay. okay. Preferably yep. to my to hit over this way because I feel like if anyone's mm. going to be take great pleasure in denying him access to his totem, it'll be Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nugget will piss on it. So yeah. Um, and then okay. if we're yep. are we acting in. I appreciate sure we haven't run initiative yet, but are we acting in terms of combat? Is that a thing? So, yeah. right, what else? What I'll say is, you you uh, bring about the halberd right as you realise, like oh, I just said that at full volume. Uh, you just move the halberd in one swift motion to kind of immediately push the totem over away from him, uh, and Nugget uh, then is able to just with one deft leap on top of it, moves his feet back just so it rolls a little bit further away. Um, and is now completely away from from Gruff. Uh, Gruff is kind of looking around. He re- he's clearly now realizing that he's disarmed in front of you in full plate armor with your halberd up. Um, combat hasn't yet started, but that's definitely a very hostile action. So you know he's not he's not pleased. I would. Um, right, I'm gonna, but also, you hear kind of a uh, wait, please. When I can you would like to rage. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna say <laughs> counter offer. You leave, and we won't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, as you say this, uh, the the dwarf turns into a tiger and explodes I mean, that, with that, necrotic energy. That, if, that add, if, that, if anything, that adds threat, doesn't it? Can I roll intimidation? To uh, yeah, I was going to say, I literally was about to say that's intimidation with advantage because of Ragnar. Um, so that's a 23. Okay, let me just... Necrotic is a great thematic point there as well, isn't it? Where you know, everything green within 10 feet just withers and dies. Oh, that's true, I haven't tiger. thought about that yet. As you turn into a tiger, a lot of the plants around you just kind of wither up. <laughs> He's really not well. <laughs> He's really, really unwell. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, Gruff kind of steps back and looks between all of you, and you hear this pleading come into his voice again as he says, please, brother. Please, don't, don't do this. I can't, I can't just let you pass as he goes to place an arm on your shoulder. Ah, I cool. Cool, cool struggling with this. Like, cool, yep. doesn't do emotions or, or physical contact. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a lot of emotions, a lot of physical contact. All right, Ragnar, are he you looking calling, to keep, fight him? Cool, cool doesn't have any siblings. He doesn't do, no, being called brother doesn't sit well with him. <laughs> he, he spent his entire life just attacking people who try to get close to him. So it doesn't really work when you try to cozy up to him. And okay. Ragnar's him in the arm, so I guess that's the end of that. <laughs> All right, so cool, you just a look of pure discomfort. Uh, Ragnar, you bite him in the arm. It does. In a, in a, in a, in a singular moment of self perception, Cor realizes that he's too emotionally stunted to appreciate what's happening, but <laughs> then, then, then realizes that he's thinking about feeling and just like, yeah! Sorry, I like the idea. I like the idea. Cole has just realised, like, oh man, a normal person would be affected by this. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. 
All right, uh, Ragnaros, yeah. you as you, you bite aggression into just pushes that way in, he's just like reverts to. Oh no, we'll just kill it. As you bite into uh, his arm, uh, you feel you don't feel like the awareness has has taken on him, but you have done a significant amount of damage. He kind of recoils, holding his arm from you, and again the pleading voice comes in. He goes down upon his knees and looks at you and just says, "Please don't do this. I can't." I can't kill you. Please. No, you can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you call turn to Leopold? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, sort yeah. of, you know, encourage him to step forward and sort of you know, say, look, we're dealing mm-hmm. with, with uh, a call is going to, in his most en- engaging, yeah. cr- cr- charismatic way. Cause he is, Puts on his showmanship. Whilst play. being thick as shit, he's actually very charismatic. <laughs> He is, yes. yes. <laughs> he is really thick as shit. Cause he's just like, oh, he just Leopold just watched us attack this man. And then we're gonna be like, yeah, he's really bad. Like he's the bad one. He's the bad guy, actually. No, where he the... where he was pleading with us. He's the no. I'm gonna start just yeah. talking to him. You're like, look, this is this guy is part of the fucking cult that have infected the area. They're they're, they're responsible for the deaths of all the people in your town. They're mm-hmm. they're directly they're deliberately directly responsible for the death of your your favourite friend, who I can't remember the name of, Elizabeth. And yeah, yeah you, you know, Elizabeth died at, at their hands. Mm. Um, so what do you think we should do? And I well, sort of, yeah. yeah, just sort of gently put his hand on his uh, weapon. <laughs> what do you think we uh, should do? All right, roll me persuasion with advantage for that. I think you've you've tied I'm... in Elizabeth. There's some good lines there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <It's not> Twenty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you kind of, you know, start, you start talking Sir Leopold up about how you know, like Elizabeth has died for these because of the actions of these people. It doesn't matter how good their intentions are; they are now just causing more harm. And as you gently place a hand on his weapon, you see as his fingers tighten around the hilt as he turns. <sighs> And looks at you, Cole, looks you straight in the eye and says, doing good doesn't feel good. As he steps forward and brings his hammer above his head. Uh, Gruff desperately seems to be trying to make one final plea. However, it's cut short just as he starts to say, Cole, no, as his skull is crushed. (laughs) Fuck! (laughs) Cole, no! That's brutal. I'm going to come out of the bush and just be like, I feel like, so, fucking hell, lads. What the fuck was that about? Because <laughs> okay. I assume I couldn't hear anything from that far away. <laughs> You're too busy hiding in a bush. Paul, Paul just looks at him and kind of shrugs without any real like look of emotion on his face. It's like, ego terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, um, as uh, Ragnar, as you're kind of sniffing God. about the body... Damn, you had to make being evil feel difficult didn't you <laughs> yeah a little bit not gonna lie yeah yeah don't worry i can pass through <laughs> uh ragnar as you are sniffing about the body can you roll me uh perception or nature please oh wow all right as you're kind of sniffing about the body you feel a strange pull something strange as you kind of glance across at the totem that now lies at his feet you realize that one of the uh, one of the carvings on the totem is that of a beautiful tiger. Oh. In your in your kind of strange magical energy way, you can feel something in that totem. It speaks to you in ways that you didn't expect. Has he got an erection? <laughs> Am I gonna Little bit of lipstick. Totem? <laughs> oh dear. I'll say you can feel very powerful magic coming from that totem. Mm, Something powerful. in it speaks purely to that tiger side of you. There is no dwarf here, there is only tiger. Has he got anything else on his body? Um it's so it's while it's it, probably not. While Ragnar's kind of shuffling his way over to a totem, making eyes at it, um you kind of have a root about in his pockets um he's wearing he's wearing kind of a very distinctive almost almost like a uniform it looks like it's kind of purple with very elaborate 
Sorry? Is it just tassel Vaseline? <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. But you know, um, it looks to the roads as well. It looks like he's wearing armor that appears to be largely made of kind of snake skin. It's got beautiful patterns in it in the shape of snakes that are kind of look like they've been very, very delicately made out of out of the scales themselves. It's it's genuinely it's it's quite beautiful actually. It doesn't appear to be magical in any way, but it just it just looks quite nice and feels quite nice actually. I thought this is the kind of thing that Gene would like steal to flog. Oh Gene, if you're if you're looking at it, you're seeing Fine druidic craftsman. As uh, Ragnar does like cats do and kind of rubs his head on the totem to, you know, get his scent glands on it. Make sure it's it's his totem now. You give it a good scratch. Ooh, ooh, it's, ooh this is a good scratching pole. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> can I pick it up and take it over to the cats? <laughs> so that we can play as cats. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't even thought about that, but a totem with cats on appeals to two characters in the party. <laughs> <laughs> As you take it over to the cats, uh, Salem, Fluffy, Muffin, Sunday, Pickle, Fuzz Aldrin, Binks, and Cat Stevens, they don't seem to have quite the same pull to you, but I mean, hey, it's a good scratch and pull. That's pretty great. Nice. So we will, uh, we will call the session here. I will uh, reveal more about your totem once I've fixed your wild magic, Richard. That way we both have an incentive for me to do it. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yes, we will we will call it there for now with uh, the shambling mound defeated, and uh, we'll calls pass confronted and <laughs> brutalized. What else did you expect? Honestly, honestly, I'm I'm pleased with how that went. It could have gone many other ways. I I, I honestly, as soon as he, as soon as he appeared and it was like, oh, this is a person, I was like, oh, this is going to be more combat, you know. And then, mm-hmm. and then he, and then I managed to roll it. That funny. I was like, "Oh no, he's gonna die." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, cool. We're gonna, we're gonna crush his skull. It to was, be well, clear, it was, as it was well. more a case of he was always yeah. going to die. It was whether we had to fight him like in combat to do it or kill him out of combat. <laughs> it was, it was more. Ah, oh, somebody from my past has appeared. Well, I'm gonna kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he hadn't been so confrontational, then you know. Oh, he, he was, he was that with confrontational. You. Yeah, he, 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 he immediately told us we had to leave. Yeah, <laughs> because obviously, no, like, we're here for a purpose. We weren't leaving. <laughs> we, and he, we even told you know, Leopold told him why we were here, and he was like, "No, nah, I'm not interested." He's like, mm, "Can't be having that." And as soon as he gave us a speech, I was like, "Oh fuck!" I just want to put it out there. Cracked. I feel like it made no difference. I feel like you decided he was going to die the moment you realised you had any connection to him. <laughs> uh, no, not especially. <laughs> Like if I thought if I thought we could have brought him around, then I would have tried. If I'd failed, I still would have killed him. But I would have tried. <laughs> maybe we could have brought him out. <laughs> I rolled a yeah, twenty on persuasion. I rolled a twenty on persuasion, and it didn't work. So. You rolled a nat twenty on persuasion, persuasion to have Leopold crush his head. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. Wrong yeah, you got to be clear. Like it's one thing to say, be like, like, yeah, I got a really good roll. Yes, to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, though, primary objectives, guys. <laughs> I mean, I think this session was just insane rolls. You know. mm. uh, yeah, definitely yeah. a statistical anomaly, and Sam continuing his trend of getting a nat 20 right exactly when it would be really helpful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool beliefs. Yeah. Good thing about as well, by the way. He eventually um, goes down and just rolls. Don't the rest of them, <laughs> the rest of them, The power of the stonk. So whenever whenever you're trying to convince Sir Leopold to do anything kind of a little bit evil or anything like that, he has to make a, a roll against it, right? Yeah, you got a nat twenty. He got a nat one. He was he was so on board with what you said. <laughs> <laughs> he was finishing your sentence kind of keen. So nice. You were finishing each other's sandwiches. Mm-hmm. So job, you've got you got to mention mention Elizabeth, and he fucking crumbles. <laughs> he does a bit. Yeah. All you have to do is just mention his existing trauma, and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We are. I mean, yeah. Oh man, it's super gonna, easy. You just fight, traumatize you gotta, people. Yeah, yeah, if you're going to psychologically destroy someone, then just mm. repeatedly bring up recent trauma, and it ends really well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. I, I I literally know how this story ends. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you may <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I know. I, well, not maybe not completely, but I know I know roughly how it planned out. Mm-hmm. To 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 the extent of I know where that ends. Up. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. But yeah, I'll be honest with you, like. Uh, 
you you don't he he never goes into these caverns. This is oh, this is just oh yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> No, we're just yeah. going to build up his build more, like, more effectively, I guess, breakdown. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a breakdown situation. Yeah, so we're going to break down. We're going to break down his uh, personality enough that he's ready and willing for his destiny. <laughs> God, make him sound like Darth Vader. Mm. I mean, <clears throat> he could he could, it, you, he could lose. Some is things, he that removed yeah. from Darth Vader? Like, <laughs> he's a lot not that off. far off. Yeah, there are quite a lot of Vader far famous far well, World of Warcraft character, to be fair. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Was that Richard? Uh, there'll be a room of younglings at some point, and it'll be between court and. I'll be honest with you, I hadn't even thought about having you guys murder a room of children, but Dan has proven that that is not an obstacle for <laughs> yeah, me. But, yeah, look, yeah. I didn't murder any children, I self defensed against a child. <laughs> Still a murder. Okay. Self defense, <laughs> Dom. Yes, I don't think in the facts you would have gotten off with that. I'll I be honest with you, there as aren't the only person here who's enough. legally yeah, qualified, right, right <laughs> I we don't it's... have stand your ground in this country. It doesn't help, man, that you yelled, that's how it's done, in the back. As you, as, as you <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> yeah, you did. I can remember. I, 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 I did I make think... the point of it hit, the, of it hit the, them in their back, and you did say, that's how it's done. <laughs> I don't think so, that's true. Yeah. I don't think that's. I what think I you did that before you realised the child was dead. To be fair, <laughs> that makes it so much better. <laughs> He'd rather they died painfully and slowly than died you instantly. Critically injured him. <laughs> <laughs> uh...